Well, some changes to superannuation will come into play from the middle of the year as the government debates the future of Australia's financial system. The changes coincide with the most super funds heading for another stellar year, signalling a firm recovery from the global financial crisis. Solid share markets along with strong performances in real estate investment trusts have aided superannuation balances last month. If that continues, the median growth fund is likely to post double-digit returns this financial year. If equity markets went up by 5%, um, they could expect a healthy return of something like 13.5%. That would mean five years of growth following a 13% fall at the peak of the global financial crisis. The most likely outcome over the long term for a growth um, product is about 7% per annum. For those looking to catch up... Super is still a really, really good way to increase your wealth in a most tax effective way. So salary sacrifice first, but you must watch your superannuation caps. From July the 1st, the cap for those 50 years and over will increase to 35,000, matching those people over 60. The general concessional contributions cap will rise from 25,000 to 30,000. You can also put in up to $150,000 of after-tax money into super every year under the age of 65. That kind of professional information is being made more accessible with the future of financial advice reforms, but changes are being discussed in Parliament and consumer groups say that may strip back some basic protections. So for example, the idea that if you're paying someone for financial advice and that's coming out of your investment earnings, they should check in with you every now and then, at least every two years, and make sure you're happy to keep paying. While Australia's $1.6 trillion superannuation pool grows, the government is in the midst of its first inquiry into the financial system in 16 years. It's trying to find better ways to fund economic growth, which may include tapping into super. Using super for infrastructure, especially at development level, is a key discussion point. It's a question of who bears that risk, and superannuation funds aren't necessarily the best vehicles to absorb that risk initially. But to hold those assets once they're completed, that's a different story. The inquiry's recommendations will be presented to the Treasurer by the end of the year. Ricardo Gonsalves, SBS World News.